Today I have got my hand on a new specialized SL8 Pro and we're going to review it for you with my buddy who is what I would describe just a normal cyclist. Guys, welcome back to the What Life. Let's roll. So this is my buddy Ryan. What's up What Life? So we've been meaning to ride together for a while and guys, full disclosure, Ryan has worked with specialized more on the urban side of cycling, right? You've, yeah. done, you've had like the city bikes and yeah. things like that. You might have seen a little bit of me getting out in the countryside. Quite a lot, yeah, you're a major inspiration. And then, so he has spoken to Specialized. They have very kindly given, lent, provided an SLA Pro for Ryan to ride. Now, the thing that I like about this review is that Ryan's got no idea what compliant means. Like, he probably won't be using words like, you know, stiff bottom bracket. He's just gonna give us his an honest opinion on what it's like to ride this badass bike. Cool. Um, let me just talk you through the bike very quickly before we dive in. So this is a this is a specialized SL8 Pro. So it's not the S Works. The only difference is that this is a 10R carbon layup, and I think the S Works has a slightly higher quality of carbon layup. Shape is all the same, just slightly different on the layup. He is running, and I love this. He's got this SRAM Force with power meter group set. I think he's a 4835 chain ring. I think he's a 3310 rear cassette. I haven't checked. I'm not going to ask him because he will not know <laughs> what that means. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> We've had a lot of calls over the last few days. You know, we're going to get him a saddle bag with, with tubes and tire levers and everything. That is coming. That's on its way. He's running the Roval carbon wheels. They are 51 mil front, 60 mil rear. Other than that, this is a size 58. How much are you weighing nowadays? 100 kilos. Okay, so he's, he is on the 100 kilo side of cycling. So what I've actually done is I've bought a bike computer that we're now gonna link up to his power meter and we're gonna get him to do Dark Hill, which is the other side of Richmond Park. Power meter, which I do have. Which, yeah, I actually <laughs> messaged him this morning. I was like, mate, you have a power meter on your bike? He's like, no, mate. And we t I turned out, I was like, that's a power meter. <laughs> so so this is the- you enough. <laughs> yeah, but this is, this is the nice thing. It's just gonna be a review from a guy that likes riding a bike yeah. um, it's come he's got it in this what I think is the nicest finish you can get which is that kind of bare carbon look that is chef's kiss lovely um, like I said size 58 he's six foot two yeah. six foot two hundred kgs and this bad boy uh, retails on, on the website special website at about eight thousand pounds and then I'm gonna dive on on my bike and we're gonna go for a ride And then also there is a button on there that you can press and then when it flashes, see that it flashes red? Yeah, so both are red, so both are low. So both are, both batteries are low. Awesome. So we may or may not be able to review this bike. <laughs> so the way I would describe the SL8 Pro, SL8 Tarmac Pro, is it's probably the bike that you need, but maybe not the bike that you want. The bike that you want was probably one that's got S-Works written all down the side, but the only difference in that is literally the carbon layup and well, I mean, it is a big difference, you know, a couple of hundred grams in terms of frame weight. But these things actually, I can't weigh this one right now, but these things actually weigh so little anyway that they are kind of borderline, they're, they're sub seven kg bikes. Um, I'm not sure whether a 58 frame will come up uh, as a sub seven kg bike, but you know, Ryan's over hundred kg himself as a rider. So those little small gram savings don't have quite so much impact. Let's jump on the bike and see what we've got to say about it. Baby, it's good. <laughs> Look at these legs as well. <laughs> yeah, just I'm aware that I'm not the typical cyclist. I'm also aware that I have no right to be riding a bike like this. But we're yeah, going to do, do it. Yeah, you do. You do. You do. This is a like cycling. Cycling is about fun. It's about enjoying. It. It's about everyone getting out. And if, if if you're lucky enough to get to work with these people and share it, and it gets, and if you get more people into cycling by virtue of doing that. That's a good thing. I was speaking to someone yesterday and I was like, I've been riding bikes for years, like commuting in and out of town. When we used to live together, I used to ride like a, I don't know, six, 700 pound bike. But the idea of like riding a bike versus uh, sort of cycling on a bike like this with training and performance purposes, you know, kind of like the intention, it's a completely different, I'm so new to this and there's so much to learn clearly. I don't even know what a fucking power thing was. 
Um, do, you remember, do you remember when we came home that day and someone had nicked your rear wheel from your bike and you had to borrow mine? <laughs> gosh, yeah. I had it for a while, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. You were basically running your bike with my rear, oh my gosh. rear wheel because someone had nicked your wheel. Max has actually got me out of a few jams over the years, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> He's like my big bro that I've never had. <laughs> he does have two big brothers. <laughs> I'm mates with them. <laughs> right, let's go ride a bike. Let's party. Just tightened up uh, Ryan's stem a little bit. <clears throat> so it's getting a little bit of movement. Gonna have to teach him about torque wrenches and whatnot. Just saying that it's the bike life is not an easy life. We do Richmond Park, we're gonna send Ryan up Dark Hill at full watts and see how he thinks the SL8 holds up. It's a windy one today. It is, isn't it? Definitely feel that wind. So we're gonna send it up Dark Hill, Ryan. I'll tell you when. It's not gonna be that impressive. Just wanna see the watts, just wanna see how the SL8 handles it. Right, Ryan's 100, 100 plus kg. And we're gonna send him up Dark Hill. See whether we can uh, go full send. See what that does for the watts. Okay, ramp How'd that feel? Pretty terrible, bro. <sighs> you were filming one-handed, still keeping up with me. Ooh. Woof. I'm just so not conditioned to this form of exercise, so my legs just fill up with lactate. Very London cycle culture. Like we stopped by the clubhouse for a coffee and a chin wag about bikes. Let me ask you some questions about the SLA. Yeah, ask me. Your impressions of how it looks? I love the way it looks. I love that kind of matte finish to it. I don't know, I, I haven't really got that much to compare it against. I suppose yeah. my, pr my previous bikes were a lot heavier, a lot clunkier. That one's super slimline, super light. Just looks amazing. What about a 100 kg man? When we were going up Dark Hill, when I asked you to get out the saddle and, and push, I'm not 100 kg, I probably can't put the same power through. Do you feel any like flex it? Does it, or does it just feel like you put the power down and you go forward? Well, interestingly, yeah. I mean, when I was, when I'm out the saddle and I'm kind of shift through some power, I can hear something. Something's not quite right on that bike. Is that what okay. you mean? No, no, but hearing is different to feeling. So maybe that's something that just needs tightening. Maybe we'll have a look at your bottom bracket. Like I imagine there might be something that needs, if it's, if, if I, you can hear it, it might just need tightening up, okay, which well, we can if, do. If I ignore the sound then, yeah, I feel like I can just push. I can, I can really hammer the power through, yeah. For yeah. Sure. Wait, stop. This is kind of important. After Ryan mentioned some noise coming from his frame, we had a deeper conversation about it. It turns out what was happening was he was getting a little bit of disc rub from that front brake. So he's 100 kg, he's out the saddle, he's moving the bike side to side. That lateral movement is causing some flex in the frame and his front disc is rubbing on the brakes. Not too much to worry about given that it is pretty much a brand new bike and brand new discs and they haven't maybe bedded in just yet. I didn't think too much of it. 
But whilst I was sharing some content on social media, someone did message and they said this. This is a young lady, she rides an SL8. She's a very good rider, or she did ride an SL8. She said that she had one, but she found the bottom bracket a little bit too soft, especially when she was putting the power down. She does a bit of crit racing. So interestingly, when you move through the models for the SLA, obviously the higher the model, the S-Works, is lighter and firmer carbon fiber. Perhaps it's a problem that is solved when you go to the top end of the bike. And as we do know, the SLA is not an all-out aero power bike. It does incorporate a lot of climbing and it is very lightweight. And even like, what about that seat post? Because the SLA seat post is known to be quite thin. Not to worry you, but you don't feel like when you're sat on the saddle and you're like pushing down that it flexes too much or anything like that? Don't notice any flex at all. Okay. No flex at all. No, nice. I mean, I, I don't know what I look like. I mean, it would be interesting to look back at the footage. I've never seen myself on this bike. Yeah. So I don't know if I look very heavy and kind of like oversized on it, but in terms of how I feel, and bearing in mind, I haven't actually had a bike fit, so I don't know if that's worthwhile me doing. People tell me that it's very worthwhile, but it's quite expensive here in London. So if I do the bike fit, they might well change quite a few things. Um, but at the moment, you know, I've only had this in a couple of weeks and I've literally just jumped on. I didn't really, I didn't really do my research or do due diligence on the bike. Um, but my first impressions are, are, I'm kind of blown away by it to be honest. And just from, just from the, I don't know, four or five rides I've done up to Richmond Park, I'm kind of falling in love with the sport a little bit. That's good, because that is, that is like the main thing about buying a bike, is you want a bike that makes you want to ride the bike. <laughs> it kind of doesn't matter what bike it is. If you want to go and ride your bike, that is a win. I think the SL8 is probably one of the best looking bikes. It's gorgeous. So what, what I will say is, it's got those like really thin seat stays. So if you look at the back, <clears throat> and it's just, yeah, like the, the, the back bit that goes down towards where the brake caliper is. Those thin seat stays, it's got a nice thin seat tube. It's thin and uh, well built in the right places. And you'll notice that the nice thing about the SLA is if you look at my bike, that bottom bracket area where the pedals kind of go in, yours is quite small, it's compact. Mine is quite big and wide. Mine's more of an aero bike. Okay. So, but at the SLA combines a lot of just the best uh, like aero technology and a lightweight frame. <clears throat> it's only seven kilos. It's less than, it should be. Should be less than seven. I mean, it's insane. Yeah. That's the bike I would have dreamt of. When we lived together however many years ago, if I'd seen something like that on the road or, you know, that's, that whole package and aesthetic is definitely, yeah. just a dream, yeah. a dream combo. But yeah, it's what, interesting. I've got so much to learn. What about braking? Do you find, or like, what about when we're coming down that hill? I feel, I feel, I feel safe. Yeah. I feel, I feel pretty confident, but I guess that's, You've, you've got to bring that to the biking yourself, haven't you? My main thing is, is what is it like for a 100 kg man to sit on a, well, on, a on a carbon frame that's, that's effectively under 7 kg because they're trying to make it light and firm? Because a lot of bike reviews for an SLA will be done by guys that are less than like 70 kg, you know, which is 30 kg less than you. Most SLA bike reviews will be done by someone that's 60 to 75 kg at the most. You will very rarely get someone that's 100 kg reviewing a bike like that, telling you whether you feel like it's it's firm. Like if you're not feeling a huge amount of flex, you know, and, and I, I understand you might not 100% know what, 100% know what we're talking about, but you'd know if you were moving it and it wasn't, you know, and you're pushing down on the pedals, you'd know if it was kind of like bendy. So, yeah, I mean, because I'm so new to this, I'm probably, my sort of like awareness and bandwidth to all these things that you're talking about, it's probably not quite there. Like yeah. my fitness and conditioning is just, it's not where it needs to be. At the moment, like, it doesn't matter if you put me on a 17 kg bike or a seven kilo bike, I'm still, to be honest, gonna struggle getting up these hills. Yeah, but that's aerobically. Yeah, but my point is, is like an eight thousand pound bike doesn't instantly make you like an amazing cyclist. Does it feel good? Do you does, like, it, do you, does it feel good to ride around on? Yeah, I love it. Right, so we're gonna leave that one here, guys. That's the SLA. A little conversation with my buddy Ryan, who weighs a hundred kg, as he put the SLA uh, Tarmac Pro through its paces. Guys, please do like and subscribe if you want to. I will see you guys on another one soon. Thanks for joining in.